Hey everyone, today I wanted to teach you about a neat function in the replicate window where you could fill your page with a shape and how you would do that differently if you were just filling, filling a small um, rectangle with that shape. So we go into our library, we grab a shape, I grab this cute butterfly, just a tiny bit smaller. If I want to fill this whole 8.5 by 11 sheet with that butterfly automatically, I'll click on the replicate icon which looks like a little flower. And at the very bottom of the basic options, just above where it says advanced options, there's a button that says fill page. Click that and it automatically fills your page. Cool, right? But if you were going to, say, make a sheet of stickers and you didn't want to use the entire 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper for your cutout sticker sheet, um, for example, if you were doing uh, the registration marks, those take up some space on your page. So you really only have this white area to work in. So say you are making a rounded rectangle, that's gonna be what your sticker sheet is, and you wanna put this butterfly inside the sticker sheet and, and fill that shape. So you're not gonna be able to hit uh, fill page because it's still gonna fill uh, the entire page. It's not gonna fill the shape that you told it that you wanted to fill. So to do it by hand, you just select the butterfly and you're going to duplicate it a couple times. So you can hit individual, individual duplicate rights, and it does it like that. Or down here it says row of three. It will duplicate two more next to it. That's a fast way to do it. I'm going to scoot this over to the right so that it's kind of even. I want to make sure the space um, just inside of this rounded rectangle is consistent all the way around. So. Basically, to the right of the butterfly, I want to have a certain amount of space that looks the same as to the left of this left butterfly. And then I'm going to shift click to select all three, go up to align, and hit space horizontally. Now they're spread out perfectly. I'm going to hit Command G to group. Then back to replicate. I'm going to make a column of four. So I think four will fit in there. Yeah, it looks like it's going to fit in there really nicely. But if it's not, aligned exactly how I think it could be. Just scooted one row up. Again, shift, click to select all of them. Go to align and hit space vertically. I can group now. And they are sitting in there just right, looking very professional and lined up. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if there's other things that you want to learn about the Silhouette software and uh, about mockups, of course, which is my specialty. As I learn little tips and tricks inside of Silhouette, Studio Designer Edition, I'll share those. Um, and if you want to learn some mock-up design essentials, head over to my site at saradesign.com slash classroom, and you can see what I'm teaching there in terms of how to create beautiful product listing images for your shop, like on Etsy or, or other places that you might sell. Um, but again, hope you enjoyed this and it was helpful, and I hope to hear from you. Happy selling!